Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. The conversation continues. Advocates contend that former colonizers should pay up for the damage they extended to the enslaved and their descendants. But how do we get to the point of payout? And theoretically speaking, how can former colonies utilize reparation money? Ah, not just money, but what is reparation? To help us talk reparation in practical terms is a director at the Center for Reparation Research at the University of the West Indies, the dynamic, the effervescent, absolutely intelligent, historically great Professor Vereen Shepherd. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hey, what a welcome. Good Hi, to Neville. see Good to you. See. Thanks for having prof, me. Prof, 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 prof. Before we go into what you have coming up in the Black History Month. Yes. Talk us through reparation. What is it? It's, is it money? Is it what? Break it down. The thing is that it is what Jamaicans want it to be. Eh? Let mm -hmm. me say that. And uh, if we're ever going to get it, it's going to require the combined collective effort of all of us. But so far, only a few of us are in the movement. So Jamaicans, come on board. If you want development, if you want to be placed in a situation where you can compete with international partners. Reparation is about repairing the damage, and in our case, the damage done by enslavement, native genocide, and by colonialism. What is the damage, Professor Shepard? The damage is, first of all, there is a growing body of evidence about how we came to be here. In inhumane conditions, in the bottom of ships, grabbed away from Africa, that's damage, that's one. Mm -hmm. It's a physical force relocation for people from their homeland. Two, it's the brutality of the treatment over this side. And we have so much evidence. Mm -hmm. And three, it's the continuing legacies of colonialism. Mm. We have not solved all of the psychological harm that was done to us. We have not solved the educational issues. We don't have enough schools. We don't have enough health centers. Look at the argument about health, the health crisis in our country. Mm -hmm. So from 1939, Sir Arthur Lewis, who was once principal of the campus, Mona mm -hmm. campus, mm -hmm. and a vice chancellor, said that Britain is responsible for the plight of Caribbean people. Mm. And they need to return to the scene of the crime and clean up the colonial mess. Ooh. Professor, yes. if we're talking about money, that was quite an interesting um, question that Empress asked, mm -hmm. but if we're talking about money, what kind of money, who gets the money, where the money go, what you do with it, if we we're can't, talking about money? We can't quantify the harm. We <laughs> cannot quantify the harm. What we can do is to negotiate, and governments have given us the go-ahead, the National Council Reparation, the CARICOM Reparation Commission, all CARICOM heads of government have given us to go ahead to develop a draft development package, but requires negotiation. We want negotiation first. We have written to all the European governments mm -hmm. to say, we want to sit down and look at the state of the Caribbean and work out a development package. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about aid and grant, mm -hmm. okay? That's a different That's a different thing. We're talking yeah. about, and they haven't even apologized. Yeah for the mm -hmm. harm. Mm -hmm. Will they apologize? And what we're seeing now with the, um, the, the wind rush and things like this, and you see David Lammy and those yes. MPs, what, what, what is happening well, in when, England? When you look around uh -huh. the, um, the EU, when you look around in Britain, you see almost like a return of some of the racist environment that we thought we had gotten rid of. Mm -hmm. And so, a lot of people are saying we have to step up the activism mm -hmm. because it's a right. Reparation is a right. Mm -hmm. It's not an act of begging. Mm -hmm. Jose Marti said that decades ago. Right. You know, Eric Williams has written the proof and what we're having on the 27th will be further proof. Tell because, us about the 27th. Yes, prof. we have an important professor, Professor David Eltis, British born, but um, he worked, you know, at several universities in the UK and Canada. And he and his colleagues developed a marvelous database. And the database, if anyone is in doubt about where Jamaican people came from, mm -hmm. you need to come and see how David will walk us through the database. Yeah. I mean, he, he, the, the team tracked every ship, well, well at least 36,000 voyages wow. that arrived in the region, he in the Americas. That? Yes, oh my he, he has information on that. And also, he can tell us exactly where the ships left from in Africa and therefore the ethnic, the ethnic groups mm -hmm. that came to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. 
And by the way, it's not only Kingston Harbour where the ships docked. They were right across the island, mm. even in my own parish, Listen. <laughs> Professor, Port Maria, you, you mentioned, and Tobey. You mm. mentioned the Caribbean a couple of times. Is yes. that where we are now? Are you speaking on behalf of Jamaica? Uh, do you get the Caribbean folks together? Okay. So I believe a regional approach is going to be more effective than a one country uh, approach. Mm -hmm. But, and so that is what we're... Go Have we're all the countries that's bought into that? Yes. All the, in 2014, all the heads of CARICOM agreed that we should push for reparation. And they set up a CARICOM Reparation Commission. I, I, I want to I yes. join, join in uh, the, the, the question there and ask you to tell us, there is a CARICOM 10-point plan with yes. that council, the CARICOM, CARICOM yes. Council on Reparation. Although, let's give our country a, a round of applause with the Absolutely. national... Absolutely. We have Absolutely. a government council yes. on reparation. Well, and government each country, is behind this, right? Each country has one. Each country each, has their each, own. Yes. Okay. So you have the overarching... CARICOM Reparation Commission. Mm -hmm. Then you have a Prime Ministerial Subcommittee on Reparation, chaired okay. by Mia Motley, mm -hmm. Prime Minister of Barbados. Yes. And then you have all the countries with their national committees. And Jamaica is doing a wonderful job. You mentioned the apology. Tell us more about reparatory justice. What are some of the other things? I, okay. I remember reading the 10-point plan. Yes. Break it down for us, please. So it doesn't have to be sequential. We, mm -hmm. we start with an apology, the request for an apology. Demand, really. Mm -hmm. We also talk about uh, uh, the native genocide because there are communities of indigenous people in the region that live in terrible circumstances. And you can say, well, why don't the governments now do what they can to fix up those communities? And they are doing their best. Mm -hmm. But remember, if it didn't get at the moment of independence, a wealth a kind of development package, mm -hmm. and our governments have been really trying to do their best, but it needs input from those who committed the crime. Mm -hmm. So we have apology, reconnection with Africa, psychological harm, education, addressing education, health, um, debt cancellation, mm -hmm. technology transfer, repatriation mm -hmm. for those who desire it. Mm -hmm, we know mm -hmm. say some are Jamaican, no one go back to Africa. Who should, right. who should apologize? Those who committed the crime. That is, who, yeah. the European countries. And yeah. there are about 15 of them. We have 15 that about we're looking. About 15. Looking. But each day we find other people who are in other countries that were involved. France. France, Netherlands, Denmark, Britain, Spain. Um, you, you name it. So, so let's look Sweden, at some of, some of our health issues, Prof. <laughs> yes. I know, I know you, you have read so much. Um, our health issues, we can, we can pinpoint a lot of our health problems to enslavement, right? Yes, because, because we were fed so much salt for so many years. So we have a, a tendency to ha towards hypertension. Mm -hmm. And it's transmitted intergenerationally and type 2 diabetes. Mm. So those are two of the ones mm. that we're looking at. Always great to see you finish off with Thursday. Yes, so the Center for Reparation Research that I direct is having a second Africa Day on the 27th. And as I said, Professor Eltis, part mm -hmm. of the day will be a one hour with Professor Eltis mm -hmm. talking about the database and uh, answering questions about um, where people came from. What time, then we, where? Uh, so it's at the regional headquarters, the West Lawn, the regional headquarters. And uh, it, that's in front of the Mona campus, right. the new building yeah, on the West Lawns, 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. And we will have music by DJ Slick. We have lots of vendors that you can see. Um, coming, you know, we have books, UA Press, I Nation Books. Mm -hmm. Professor Cooper is coming to, um, you know, introduce us to Ghanaian goods. Mm -hmm. We have so oh, many oh, oh, vendors. Oh, I see, I see, I see Cafe, Cafe Africa. Africa. Yes, because the food. only African cuisine. Tell yes. them not, tell them not, Prof. Absolutely. Yes. So I Stephen Golden will be there, Cafe <laughs> Africa, um, to provide food, as he did last year. Yes. So every, it's free. Everyone should come out and enjoy African music, African fashion by Shades of Africa, Kamit Revisited, Mutamba. You know, so many people will be there. So come on out, learn about your roots, um, be proud of yourself, buy something African, mm -hmm. and just go represent and join the movement for repatriary yeah. justice. I hear Good you. Good to see you, Professor. Um, Thank you I so know much. Stephen I know Golden. you're, I know, who, who's what? Stephen Golden. Uh, my husband. Very but ship. wait, Prof. <laughs> <laughs> One man memorable. How many years ago now? Yeah, um, <laughs> but sorry, how do we join the National Council on Reparation? And we can come to the Centre for come Reparation. Come to the Centre for Reparation Research and, okay. and get more information. We research, we disseminate, mm -hmm. we're advocates, and I'm also a member of the National Council. Yes, of course. So on every front, wherever you look, you're going to see me. All right. All right. <laughs> Professor Vereen Shepard, Director at the Centre for Reparation Research at the University of the West Indies.